David. Try not to be late. I will. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten it. Forgot what? Our anniversary. I know you didn't. Okay, see you later then. Time for you to go out, Grace. Lots of things to do. It's been three years. Yes, years pass quickly. Do you remember when we first met? <laughs> of course I do, Grace. How can I forget? David? Hello, David. How are you today? Uh, where am I? Who are you? Oh, David. Have you forgotten again? I'm your doctor. Dr. Sophia. 
and you're in the hospital, a mental one. Do you remember now? No. Don't worry, David. It's not unexpected to forget things in your condition. And that's why I'm here. To help you. Um... Are you ready for our session today, David? Why am I alone here? Because you are a criminal patient, David. What? I'm not a criminal! Easy, David. I'm here to help you. I am here to heal your mind.
Tell me what you see, David. Tell me what you feel when you look at this painting.
patient progress report. As for the latest diagnosis, the patient has started to show signs of acknowledgement for his second personality. I still couldn't understand what may have caused this disassociative identity disorder and when the cause in question occurred, if there is one. The interesting thing is, while in her normal personality, as I've decided to call this for now, she acts like a completely normal person with a strong mind. Today I went to test what might trigger this second sick personality with a little experiment. I asked her if she knew Dr. S. She told me that she even knows her room's password. I asked what it was, and she told me the last digit of the password is half of the second digit. Then she whispered that the second digit was equal to the number of wash basins in the restroom. I asked how she knew this much, and she told me that Sophia told her. I'm afraid this personality I was trying to examine was already triggered when I started to ask questions. Is this Sophia's act? <laughs> again, huh, David? I hope you will be better today, but you are not, as it turns out. What's happened to me? Why is there no one but me in this place? Already asking questions? Then you remember me and your name? Good. You finally started to show progress. What progress? What are you talking about? Mind is fragile, David. I'm afraid yours is heavily broken, but don't worry, I'm here to heal your mind. Stop saying that! We are a little aggressive today, aren't we, David? It's good to see you're ambitious. Let's start a session today, then. What happened to me? A lot happened to you, David, but let's take it slow. You should know you are a good person, David. But there are bad things you made. I haven't done anything wrong. So you remember. I... I don't. How can you be so sure then, David? I... Why do you think you're seeing dead bodies, David? How do you know I'm seeing dead bodies? So you admit it. Look, David, guilt often tends to rise to the surface in the form of your acts, no matter how deeply you bury it. But there is a bright side. Guilt also shows you're developing some progress. That's why there are things attacking me? There are things attacking you?
David, you need to calm down and stay still now. This might hurt a little bit, but you know, I'm here to help you. I'm here to heal your mind. Hold the patient!
this is it. I failed again. I worked so much to fail again. This hospital, this place, this will be a new beginning for me. Sophia outsmarted me. I can hear her voice echoing in the tunnels. Giving orders to the other patients. This is Dr. Patrick Parr. I spent all of my life learning about human psyche. And it seems I haven't learned anything at all. These are my last words. I don't think anyone will find them in the near future. But if you do find them, the moment you are sure of something you see is the moment you are mistaken. So, you came, Sophia. What did you... How, what happened to Patrick? <laughs> I always knew you were a sharp one, David. So you figured it out. You weren't a doctor from the start. Yes, David. I wasn't a real doctor. But you can't deny I was a good doctor to you. In fact, Patrick was a good doctor to me. But I can't just accept someone conducting experiments on me, can I? Instead, I conducted an experiment on him. It resulted with some casualties. Poor Patrick, he was so devoted to his work. Why are you telling this to me? Does it really matter? You will forget again. I will make you forget. It is easy to make you forget. You don't even remember Patrick was your friend. My friend? So... I was a doctor here? It does not matter who you were, David. What matters is who I want you to be. You will be my first successful experiment since my first real victory. My white knight. Time for you to wake up, David. Time for you to remember. to visit me, we can ramble around. Y you will come to visit me, won't you, David? I have a new friend here, David. She's so nice and she knows so much. I missed you, David. Why didn't you come the other day?
How is she, Patrick? Easy, David. There is much we need to discuss. What is her problem, Doctor? I'm afraid it is much more complicated than I previously imagined. How could I be so blind? She was in front of my eyes all the time. David, this case is not something ordinary individuals could understand. So, please, don't punish yourself. It is not your fault. In fact, quite contrary, it is because of you that her normal personality is much stronger than sick personality. to visit me today. Hello, Grace. How are you doing today? Hello, Doctor. I'm perfectly fine. Did I tell you about my new friend? No, Grace. You've met a new friend. Yes, Doctor. I have a new friend and she's so nice to me. She knows so much. I see. So then you don't find it boring here? No, but... I wish David was here too. This is unlike anything I have ever seen before. All this time she was trying to take over, to become the real personality. She grew stronger and I'm afraid I'll have to use some unprecedented methods.
You're not coming to visit me any more, David? Will you leave me alone here? W will you abandon me? Don't you care what they are going to do to me? You promised lots of things, David. You promised to come and visit me. You promised to protect me. But no, things will always be as you like. Did you know, David, why I didn't kill you while I was hunting others? Because other Grace wouldn't let me. But now, she is gone. Thanks to Sophia.
needs to be done is not put her in a jail. That will solve nothing. What she needs is treatment, mentally. And I, Patrick Parr, am personally interested in this case. I think I've already proven broken minds can be healed. values you so much, yet you let that bastard to conduct his disgusting experiments on her. into the abyss. Do you remember when we first met? Oh wait, you don't need to remember, David, because I will put those memories as I like.
See, David, that wasn't that hard. How did they make you forget, David? But you should be thankful I made you remember again. I always make you remember again, no matter how deep you bury me. David? Do you know why Sophia calls her victory as White Knight? Because she likes scrubs so much, especially when they are white. Did you know? The one she wears now is... was Patrick's. It was the night before your last visit. She organised all the patients here and took over the hospital. Poor Selwyn! Her Dr. S. Nick now belongs to Sophia.
You know what, David? I guess I'm going to help Sophia this time. After all, I, too, have a crush on you. You can stay here with me. <laughs> Run, David. This is your last chance. I will now count to three and you will wake up, David. One, two, three. Wake up, David. How are you feeling? I guess you are better. After a few sessions, you will be completely fine. Oh, look at the time. Well, that's it for today, David. See you next week. Oh, by the way, David, you don't have to carry your parents' memory on your shoulder anymore. Because it might not let you forget.
David.